Coke Bowls from the Midwest with Ted Mack and the original Amateur Hour. Look how fast. Look how smooth. What is it? It's my electric razor with wings. Put wings on your electric razor with Williams Electric Shave. You'll skim off the toughest beard smoother, closer with any electric razor. Williams Electric Shave instantly evaporates perspiration to end razor drag. It sets up your beard for a closer shave. It lubricates your skin for a smoother shave. Put wings on your electric razor. Get Williams Electric Shave in the Splash On Bottle or new Glide On Applicator. Look for the big L, first letter in... Electric Shave! Deritol, a high-potency vitamin, iron-rich tonic to help you feel stronger, presents Ted Mack and the original Amateur Hour. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Well, okay. Well, it's, it's back to school season. I'd like to say that some of today's Midwestern amateurs just can't wait to get back to their classrooms. Uh, that's what I'd like to say, but what I think would be more to the point is that they can't wait to get out here to entertain you. We're in the studios of WBBM-TV in Chicago, and right now I'll spin the Wheel of Fortune for the 1,461st time. Round and round she goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. Well, today's lineup starts with the singing nurse's aide. She uh, came to us through our auditions at WANE-TV in Fort Wayne, Indiana. She works at the Lutheran Hospital. She is Eugenia Lofton. Just in time, I found you just in time. Before you came, my time was running low. I was lost, the losing dice were tossed. My bridges all were crossed, nowhere to go. Now you're here, and now I know just where I'm going. No more doubts or fears, I found my way for love. Came just in time, you found me just in time, and changed my lonely life that lovely day. Now you're here, and now I know just where I'm going. No more doubts or fears. I found my way for love, came just in time, you found me just in time, and changed my lonely life that lovely, lonely life that lovely, lonely life that lovely. Yeah. Well, Virginia Lawson. We're at the Lutheran Hospital in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Quite a little singing style. Well, every week we get uh, closer to our national championships when we bring all of our three-time winners together for a battle royal of talent. One of the amateurs you'll see on today's show could possibly in, be in that battle, so you pick your favorite, write the name on a postal card, mail it to Box 191, Radio City Station in New York. Now from our Twin Cities auditions, a teenage band from St. Paul, Minnesota. And in case you're um, well, a little concerned about seeing rock and roll musicians with long hair, don't worry too much, because uh, uh, three of them, I think, are girls in this outfit. <laughs> uh, this is Susie Q and the Originals. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Thank you. 
two and the original. Okay. You know, well, I, I think it's pretty obvious that even the simplest chores become a burden when you feel tired. Well, now tell me about you. Have you, have you been feeling that way lately? Do you take vitamins and still feel run down? Well, if so, your trouble may be due to iron-poor, tired blood, and vitamins alone can't build up iron-poor blood. But Geritol can. That's because just two Geritol tablets or two tablespoons of Geritol liquid contain seven vitamins plus twice the iron and a whole pound of calf's liver. In only one day, Geritol iron is in your bloodstream, carrying strength and energy to every part of your body. You check with your doctor, and if you've been feeling tired because of iron-poor blood, you take Geritol, either the liquid or the tablets. Take it every day, and you will feel stronger fast in just seven days or your money back from Geritol. But insist on Geritol. Now, a singing homemaker from Chicago. She was a music major at the University of Wisconsin, Jean Chambers. Any children, Jean? Yes, sir. I have three sons. That sounds like it'd be a good title for a television series. Uh, <laughs> uh, how, how about them? They uh, like your singing? Well, I think they're rather typical of all little boys in that they're very non-committal. Uh-huh. Well, we've got a few million people right out here who like to get involved in this thing, so let's hear you singing. Box 191, Radio City Station in New York. Now a dozen high-flying youngsters who got their tumbling basic training at the St. Paul, Minnesota Recreation Centers. These young ladies are coached by Mr. and Mrs. Pat Crowley, and they're known as the Crowley Tumbleweeds. <laughs>
it in St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Crowley's Tumbleweeds. Well, now, a singing staff sergeant from our Fort Wayne auditions. Married, has five children, presently stationed at Bunker Hill Air Force Base in Peru, Indiana. Ira Stewart. How long have you been in the service, Ira? I'm happy to say that I've completed 20 years of active military service, Mr. Is Mack. Is that right? Well, that makes you... <laughs> eligible now for uh, retirement. What, what are your plans? Well, sir, I've uh, been trying to establish a certain amount of security for my family, and now that this is just about completed, I'd like to take a fly at the entertainment business. You would. Well, I'd say after 20 years, you, you're entitled to it. They tell me you've got quite an unusual voice. You're going to do Danny Boy, right? Yes, sir. All right, Ira Stewart from Bunker Hill Air Force Base in Peru, Indiana. <laughs> Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are a-calling. From glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the leaves are a-calling. voting address is Box 191, Radio City Station in New York. On center stage, CBS, starting this fall, the Steve Lawrence Show, highlighting the singing and comedy talents of Steve Lawrence. You'd look at me and I would see the smile you're smiling. Now it might have been in old county. Hi, that's Steve Lawrence. I thought you might like to know a few things about him, since I know him intimately. When he was a small boy, the Blue Fairy gave him three wishes. His first wish was to become a singer. That was granted. His second wish was to have his own television show. September 13th, that will be granted. His third wish is that you join him every Monday night at 10, 9 Central Time. Things are going to be swinging right here on CBS. Now we have uh, two musical sisters from Indianapolis, Indiana. One plays the accordion, the other the marimba. And they say they've got a, a little trick at the end to make this just a little bit novel. They're going to do Yankee Doodle Boy and give my regards to Broadway. This is Donna and Patricia Statzel. <laughs>
to Tisha Sesto from Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, quite a number of weeks now, I've been telling all of our talented friends in California about our scheduled series of shows from the West Coast. We're going to be heading your way soon, so if you have talent and you live in the San Francisco or Los Angeles or any points in, in California, drop us a note. Tell us what you do, and we'll schedule an audition for you in one of the cities. Uh, you address all of your mail to New York, though, Box 191, Radio City Station in New York, and we'll contact you from there. Uh, barbershop Quartet from Fort Wayne, Indiana. All married and family men with uh, all kinds of professions. They call themselves the Wayne Bows. Oh. <laughs> Suppose you identify yourselves, fellas, and tell us about your jobs. Let's start with you, Bill. I'm Bill Lipp. I'm a tool maker for the General Electric Company. Mm -hmm. I'm Dick White, and I'm an engineer for the International Harvester Company. I'm Bob Hatch, and I'm a sergeant on the Fort Wayne Police Department. My name is Harry Bird. I work for Indiana Michigan Electric Company. Uh-huh. Uh, which one, Bob? You were the police sergeant, yes, were you? Yes, sir. Well, you know, the last time I drove through uh, uh, Fort Wayne, uh, this, there was this ticket. I'm only kidding you. <laughs> I never got a ticket in Fort Wayne. Uh, all right, let's, let, what are you going to do? Cord Buster's March. I don't think I ever heard that one. Let's listen to it. The Wayne Bowles from Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Let's sing a song, let's bring a song, let harmony be true. Come join the crowd, sing long and loud like good chord busters do. Let's bust a chord, let's bust a chord, a good old major chord. With some ringing harmony, harmony. Come on and join the fun, we'll bust a minor one. As we warble merrily, giddy and mum mum. Let's sing it through again, and then we'll all chime in. It will make your heart feel light. You'll be hoarse tomorrow, but forget your sorrow while we bust a chord tonight. That might be your place. And a tenor will be welcome, never fear. And if you're a baron, don't sit around alone. And a lead is what we need right over here. Over here, let's bust a chord or two, and then you'll know it's true that a song makes things go right. Put away your trouble, let your joy be double while we bust a chord tonight. Fort Wayne, Indiana. The voting address is Box 191, Radio City Station in New York. A uh, man with an unusual name here, and uh, he has a talent that, uh, no, we don't see too often. I think the amateur hour is about the only place we do see it, uh, certainly on nationwide television these days. Uh, he's a spoons player, and they say he's very, very good at it. He's a... An, uh, his work is a landscaper, and he works in the steel mills, but he's presently between jobs. His name is Love Abernathy. Love, let's see you sing. <laughs>
glad that I'm glad we don't lose all of that uh, flavor of of what would we call it home entertainment. Remember when lots of people used to devise ways to entertain their neighbors and their friends, and that was one of them. That was Love Abernathy. Uh, you know, right now there may be thousands of you folks who couldn't fall asleep last night because of oh, simple nervous tension or daily problems. Now, maybe you wanted to take a sleeping aid, but you were afraid to because you thought it might be habit-forming. Well, believe me, you need have no fear about taking Salmonex. Taken as directed, Salmonex brings 100% safe, natural-like sleep. Just two Salmonex tablets will lull you into restful sleep. Salmonex is absolutely not habit-forming. And now to help you remember Salmonex, here's a little song by the Lennon sisters. Take some next tonight and sleep. Safe and restful sleep, sleep, sleep. Our uh, 1965 National Amateur Championships are just a little more than a month away, and the way you've been picking three-time winners, I think we're going to have the greatest list we've ever had. But. Uh, We've got another one for you, the latest three-time winners, the dancing youngsters from Hamilton, Ohio, the Chuck Wilson Trio. Uh, and right on the heels of the Chuck Wilson Trio came the singing furniture store salesman from Philadelphia. We've brought him to Chicago to try for his second win. This is Carl Manulkin. Two different worlds we live in two different worlds For we've been told That a love like ours Could never be So far apart They say we're so far apart And that we haven't the right to change our destiny. When will they learn that a heart doesn't draw a line? Nothing matters if I am yours and you are mine. different worlds we live in two different worlds but we will show them as we walk together in the sun that our two different worlds Nelkin from Philadelphia trying for his second win. Now remember, I can't vote for anyone on this program, but you can through your postal card to Box 191, Radio City Station. As a matter of fact, that's the only way we get a winner around here. So now let's bring everyone back for a bow so you can definitely make up your mind. Another round of applause for Carl Manelka. Here's the musical spoons player from Fort Wayne, Love Abernathy. There he is, He's off camera, but it's all right. The Barbershop Quartet from Fort Wayne. Here they come, the Wayne Bowles. Here's the musical sister team from Indianapolis. Singing Staff Sergeant from Peru, Indiana. The high-flying youngsters from St. Paul, Minnesota. The singing homemaker from Chicago. The rock and rollers from St. Paul. <laughs> And she is. All right, I'm not sure what we're doing on time here. Are we in a hurry or do we have to stretch just a little bit? A anyway, 
Uh, I guess I'm perfectly safe in reminding you to stop feeling tired because of iron poor blood. You take Geritol every day. Mothers, you give your child Geritol Junior. This is rich in essential vitamins and in iron. Now, next week we'll be back at the studios of WBBM-TV in Chicago with another group of eager amateurs, this time from the Quad Cities of Davenport, Iowa, Rock Island, Moline, and East Moline, Illinois. And uh, until then, on behalf of today's amateurs, who have tried very hard to entertain you, I think they've all given you their, their all. I can see those little tumblers still puffing over there. Anyway, uh, thanks for being with us. Come on back again next week. We'll try to give you another very, very good show. Thank you very much. The original amateur hour is produced by Lewis Graham. Directed by Jack Hine and Lloyd Marks. Lighting by Paul Saita. Do you know the years after 35 can be the best of your life? But as you get older, you may feel grouchy and out of sorts because of irregularity. After 35, your system slows down. What you may need today is the all-vegetable laxative aid, Saratan, which is specially made for folks over 35. That's because Saratan provides the peristaltic stimulation to more normal regularity. Now, this is different from pills, salts, or oils. Saratan acts like the naturally laxative hydrogel in fruits and vegetables to help keep you regular. So after 35, if you feel grouchy and out of sorts, take Saratan daily to help stimulate your slowed down system to more normal regularity. Remember, when you read Saratan backwards, it spells nature's. And the original Amateur Hour has been brought to you by Geritol, a high-potency vitamin iron-rich tonic to help you feel stronger. And now, this is Bob Shepard wishing you good night and good health from the J.B. Williams Company. Participants on the Spring Garden program were selected and interviewed by the audition staff in advance. Welcome.